So, last two weeks. Oh, are you recording already? Are you recording already? Right, so let me just get something off my, off my chest first then. So well, how, many, how many subscribers? Well, let me get this on my chest because I'm, str <laughs> I'm struggling with this. Um, is that right? Yeah. Um, how many subscribers have we got now? Really? 700 off the big 40? Well, it's finally happened. I thought it might happen, but it's finally happened where Simon from Urban Automotive has turned into a diva. And the first thing he said to me this morning is that he wants a new phone and he's not willing to wait 24 hours for it. So he could actually just get it delivered here. But you don't want that, do you? You want someone to actually go to the Apple store and pick it up for you. <laughs> is that what you... That's what, that's <laughs> At this point, do I have to admit this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I don't, oh, I don't know, want to wait yeah, for know, it. But, but in, you know what? It's not that. I just don't like going out where there's loads of people. Like, I've got to queue up and wait for a phone. I'm sure I'll sort something which will result in me going to get it later. And oh, Look, if you want yeah. me to go for you, I'll no, go No, no, it's all right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, man. Thank you Thank very you, much. Anne. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Anne. Superstar. Thanks, Anne. Thank you. That's the best part of the day so far. What's been happening in the last couple of weeks, mate? I've not been here. Is this your first one back since you... Uh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, we, apologies, we, so... everyone. We could, we couldn't get one out last week. I had a couple of messages from people saying that they'd missed Friday's vlog. Yeah. yeah, so sorry about that. We were just um, running about mad, weren't we? Like, yeah. Literally just didn't have the time to do it. Well, it was my first day back. We was doing a bit of filming for um, the Urban Back History story. Yeah. Uh, which we've done, which is kind of nice. It felt good to just sit and discuss it. We've done it in a different way than we would normally do. We've done a little bit of an interview. So you've kind of like interviewed me in a way. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's coming out in one week or two weeks, Alex. Couple of weeks. Couple of Couple of weeks. Of weeks. It's going to be a movie, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's it's going to be a movie. It's, it's, a, it's going to be a feature. Is there pyrotechnics and stuff like <laughs> <laughs> But no, genuinely, it's going to be a feature, isn't it? It's going to be nice. And it's, I think it's about time you told your story because... You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit with what you've created. So I think it's going to be a nice, I nice story. I didn't feel like people... I told enough of a story, though. It all sort of seemed to go in a flash. Yeah, but you never, Let's yeah, but you never do. See. I think, I think when you watch it back, I think hopefully you'll, you'll realise that you said everything that you wanted to say and and stuff like that. Unless we have to do a part two. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened while I was away? <clears throat> um, I, I was the R and D king. Yeah, I know. I sent in a few messages. I see on the videos that you just played those back. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so I'm much like, easier than having a chance like can you do me a favour? Mate, can you do me a favour? Just like, hold my phone like that. So, yeah, right, okay, fine. Making yeah. out like I'm a diva from being on holiday, <laughs> like instructing you to do stuff. <laughs> what was rubbish? What was good? Um, the mud flap thing. But then you said because that was made out of rubber, that would pull that closer to the Yeah, well, I've actually got to revise one of those. You okay. can see this this tight line here. I've just fitted this, actually. It fits correct. But the um, spoiler? The spoiler no add-on. I don't know. No. I think the nice thing about the Defender spoiler is that it dips like that and it's got that shape. If you just put something across it, it just makes it straight and a little bit... Well, the only reason I wanted to do it is because someone copied our spoiler. So make something a little bit yeah, different. Just to make yeah. something a little bit different, but maybe um, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. Seat and... backs. Good. <sighs> the you know what? I have um, I was in the body shop yesterday and the stickers, that like the, the, the foil transfers that we're putting on underneath the lacquer are not working. They're basically when they're when they're baking the seat back after they've lacquered it, there's it popping through. And well, they're too thick or something. Then, no, they're they too it? thin, and oh. it basically the 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 thin bit of film on the sticker is sucking into the weave on the carbon. So when you look at it up close, it it's basically it looks crap. We've got um, so we was doing some R and D on the new Urban Letters excuses. They got they got my teeth marks in them. I don't know what why. Well, well, like you a five year old, like <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> um, so what we what we've done, we've we've printed the section of the new Defender bonnet that we're doing in in full carbon. And we've basically made these letters so they're sort of precision perfect to drop in. Then what we've done, because these are going to be cast, uh, we've just here you can see on the screen, we've actually put a recess in and a honeycomb into the letter. So what that does, that recess is back, so this will all be like black chrome, and then you've got a satin honeycomb mesh inside there, so they'll be actually cast out. Um, the difference between this and obviously plastic lettering is it, they're hugely expensive. It just gives a more premium edge to the um, to the new bonnet. And these ones, what we've done, we've we've made the arc fit all of the cars. So we've measured the difference between the Range Rover Sport, Range Rover Vogue, la 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 la. So so basically, so it, so it all fits perfect. 
Um, there's probably half a mil of inconsistency between right. all of the bonnets, but the little bit of tape that goes on there. Detail that's out. going on just for the letters. So look at this, this is cool as well, right? So what we're gonna do, I don't know whether I should say about this, because you watch up someone else do it now. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> <laughs> I can't help well, you myself. you saw it here first, make sure I you date stamp this. Date stamp yeah. this before someone else does it. So on this um, RS project for the Defender, we're gonna change all of the internal bolts. So in the door cards? Yeah, yeah. In, yeah, in the door cards, the dash side. Yeah. So basically we're gonna do them in these um, like sort of lightweight aluminium uh, bolts, finished in red. They've got the logo around here and we're having the dust caps made with the RS logo on it nice. as well. I think there's about 250 pounds worth of bolts in the car. <laughs> I know I know it's attention to detail, but this is the first time we've done this. It's the first time we've done a special like limited run. And I, I'm so hell bent on it being perfect. perfect yeah. You know, even down to the point that, you know, rather than make the bonnet with, we're making the bonnet with with a small recess yeah. in, so no one can copy the bonnet. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, unless they copied an urban bonnet. Mm -hmm. But you know, so so the letters sit in, so you see the light catch off it and stuff like that. So that's some cool bits going on. Um, details, details, details is details. all in the details. Who said that? I don't know. Me, just now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We've got the new ones of these. I don't know where they are, but we've got the um, monochrome the, ones. We've got the Union Jacks in monochrome now. So if you're ordering our best of British grill set for the new Defender, you can have Defender, Monochrome, Union Jack, you can have Urban, you can have whatever flavour you like in, in, in our new badges, so that's a little bit of progress while we've been away. We've got a couple of things to show you down in um, in the workshop. One is the updates on the Cullinan, uh, we might give you a little sneak peek of the new wheels, sneak peek, when I say sneak peek, show, show you. you. <laughs> um, actually, we're just going to show you the wheels. And we've also got a weird van down there. We have got a very weird van down I don't, there. Yeah, we, I actually need, I need a yay or like a yay or a nay on this because it's the most bizarre thing we've ever been asked to do. Uh, but I think he's got my you know my, you know my <laughs> feelings about it already. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like an electric work it, van. It thing. looks like a big Fiat Doblo, <laughs> like but the size of a Transit with a Volvo steering wheel. And, and just it's got a lot going for it then yeah <laughs> <laughs> right let's go and have a well you've got to see yeah, it let's yeah go let's go and have a look taking your coffee with you yeah come on then It's a black cab, yeah, like that. Yeah, so LEVC, for those of the people that don't know, it's the London Electric Vehicle Company. And obviously you'll, you, you will have seen these as black cabs. They're a bit weird, but why do I think there's something kind of funky and cool about the car? Mm. You look, no, I mean, I'm, 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 you know what? I, I come from a white van background. I love a white van. I love a, you know, I love a, you know, a transit custom on steel rims. So you don't have to worry about alloys. So you just bump it up the curb and stuff like that. I, I kind of get it. I know, I know this. This is the way it's going. It's kind of a bit odd looking, but I, I don't know. My, my biggest gripe yeah, here is turned off. Huh? It just went. <laughs> It's alive. <laughs> my, my biggest gripe with doing something like this is black cabbies aren't going to modify their cabs because you know they, they 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 do so many miles, they get battered, they're in central London, they're not worried about alloys, you know. That as you said, they've got no pride in their car. No, they're, what they've about got having a coolest got, cab in London. They've got pride in their job. Anyway, but, this wasn't meant to be about cabs, by the way. This was meant to be about, about this van. But and I know that it's a it's like a, a birth child of a taxi. Yeah. 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 I just think if you all, I don't know, business wise, I don't know whether the type of person that buys this is going to want to spend money on modifying it. It does need modifying because it looks Imagine like, this, but, right, with side tubes on there, bigger wheels, front end with some nice big intakes. Now, the good thing about this is they've actually split the bumper in three, so it makes it really easy for us to modify. We would only have to modify the front two corners, yeah, and leave the center 
as it is because I can link into this and make this with a big intake with a, with a small. I, mean, it's already I got, can't believe I'm sat up literally. It's already, I can't got, it's already I'm got the sat. urban wings. That could just I know, be replaced. Like change that to a U in the middle. Uh, Cullen and yeah, Rolls Royce, Cullen, Cullen, Cullen and front. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's definitely got scope, but I, I don't know whether, again, I don't know whether it's the type of car. I mean, how many cars do you know that come with three washer jets? Placed <laughs> <laughs> as well. I think she's stuck <laughs> right off the bonnet. I, yeah, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't right, know. so just for the record, is this cool? Is it different? Is it a goer? Or is it the most stupid thing that I've ever said? <laughs> <laughs> have a, Alex, have a look inside though. Because it it's got, like, it's a Volvo. It looks like it's Volvo tech. Volvo steel. I mean, the interior is actually quite nice for a van. That looks quite luxury, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks quite Not luxury, luxury, but like it's it's, <laughs> it's modern, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure whether this should go out on video. Let let alone whether we should do the car. Or not. <laughs> I've never seen a modified black cab. No, nor have I. And uh, what do you reckon, guys? Just. We're going to quit this story now. Just cut you me let off us quickly. Know. Give it a yes or a no. See you next year. See you next, next year. See next year. Yeah. <laughs>
but with the bright lime green calipers, that's what makes it. I've seen I've seen some Aventadors in this spec. They're purple with a green. I mean, where I love that, it. What, where, what do we colour match this to? Jesus. I don't know, but no, I don't think it's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really really bold. You know what? One thing it does like you know pop the car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously they've spec it with a carbon bonnet, carbon grill. And obviously we've got this nice little touch to our um, number plate plinth, which we changed the, the sort of the matte black plastic one to a, to a carbon one, so it matches all the way through. But what what still what looks so spec, cool? This yeah. this current shape SVR yeah. still looks so cool, doesn't it? Looks purple. It looks blue on camera. Does it? Yeah. Look. yeah. One thing. Oh, look at that. It looks like actual blue on, on the camera. Ooh. Right, I'll colour match it to make it look purple. It's weird. So does it actually look blue on the camera? So you One thing to... that I'm struggling with, because because we done such a, I feel, a great job with this, mm. like the Vogue's just come out and I've got complete design block. I just keep seeing this and trying to put it, it and I'm trying to put that. it on the new one and, I, and, and obviously the new Vogue's got this real like flat, front and blades to it and yeah yeah it's you know i'm really i'm i'm actually struggling at the moment to map our our family look across to that new yeah so but yeah this is this is obviously done as well since 2015 this sort of style mm. we've obviously done one facelift on it when it went up to model 18 year but it's still going strong we still sell probably you know six or seven conversions a month probably yeah. four five six cars Per month, that are we're, still, we're still probably what realistically speaking, still probably another year until yeah. the next sport stroke SVR. And do you think yeah. the sport and the SVR will come at the same time? I think so. That's what they did last time. Yeah. And I, and I think most people want, you know, like the flagship car to come out at the same time. If yeah. you want an SVR, you're not going to buy a three litre diesel while you no. wait for the SVR. No. So, so yeah. So this is all done. Alex will do a whip round now. Then we'll get on to the next. So we do have a couple of items in stock that we want to show you around now. We've got this um, Nardo Grey. What is the actual Pure Grey? Pure so grey. Pure, pure Grey T6.1. It's just been done. It's just had its kit on it. It's actually got the first um, plastic set that's come through from manufacturing in gloss black. So you can see here, rather than being like the sort of stippled like OEM plastic finish, we've got them in gloss black. And that's also done to match at the front. So completely different look to the car gives you that real gloss look all the way through into the vents and the DRL housing as well. This one is finished with exposed carbon as well. So this is done, we've got Ascot Grey as well. So we've got two vans in stock. So if you're interested in one of these, get in touch with the sales team um, and they'll give you all the details. And also one more thing that we're working on, we've just been doing some R&D on Reese's van, uh, which is basically we're doing a full interior fit out with logos and everything in the side. So carpet finish, insulation, soundproof, insulate, carpet, everything done. So the inside of the, the, the van looks real, real, real cool. Um, that's going to be an option that we're adding to the list. So we're going to feature that next week once it's all complete and clean. So this is our first, I think this is our first pearl capsule um, Urus we've done. So it's got the, the different interior and... Oh, right, so it's got a different interior. It's got the, the lime green accents on it. Yeah. We've got the... Um, actually, we've just done this kit in, in satin carbon to, yeah. to match. Got the, um, the Dan's just putting on the, the tuning forks here where obviously we bond them on and we strapped up to the original Lamborghini caps as well instead of Vossen. So oh. for that OEM look. Yeah, gotcha. Um, this one's got side steps That's as the well. factory side steps. Yeah. Now, they're a five grand option for a sidestep, five oh. grand. Yeah, because when they when the Euros first came out, they were like those chrome tubes, weren't they? They looked really odd, but they- I've they, seen they them with the carbon nice. edge on them. They actually do look yeah. quite nice. And that, this, this rough sort of texture on the top to protect it as to well. To protect the carbon, yeah. That's, I mean, that looks really smart. Because it, look really it, it looks more like a, a, a side skirt than a step. Do you know what I mean? Because- Yeah. I actually really like those. Yeah, smart. I wonder how we can find out where we can get that from. So they obviously gone for a slimline kit, because there's no archive look. So Are the, the arches going are... on it? Ah, uh, yeah, so we've got the arches here. So you oh. can see here when this is finished in um, satin carbon, you can see that when we make an arch, it's actually a two-piece arch. So rather than just being one skin on the outer side, you can see here, 
that this is actually two sides bonded together. Um, what we'll do in the coming weeks, we'll take you over to the carbon facility to show you uh, like how these things are done. When you've got a 10 piece arch kit like this, which consists of two pieces, so it's 20 pieces before it even starts, you can imagine how long it takes just to make by hand one of these arch pieces. Um, this bit here is like for, for um, on the other side actually, come up here, you can see here, that's how it slots onto the door like that. So that's where it goes onto, so it sits perfectly with the edge of the door like that. And then the B side obviously fits to the car. So that's how we make it up. Oh, someone's got all professional all of a sudden. Here you go, Simon. There's the new wheel cover for you. <laughs> <laughs> there's your, there's so this is a vacuum formed version of our uh, more expensive carbon one, which you can see on the back of this G-Wagon. So what we've done, we've done a, a pressed finish to create a more premium wheel cover for the Defender. Now, it's got pressed internal letters, which are sunk back so it can take our normal urban bonnet letters. I think we should put this on the car and have a look. I think we should, Simon. <laughs> You're so accommodating, <laughs> Lenny. Can you help me? Because I haven't Absolutely. got the strength. I think you go top first. Yeah, that's it, yeah. We, you, you know they're gonna moan at us for being in the workshop. Well, we just turned down their music, didn't we? Yeah, right, that's it. Oh God, is it a bit on the wonk? Well, is it, it's a little, a little bit on the wonk, look? but yeah, that looks that really, cool, really cool. So we got stock on the way. We've actually, ordered, actually had to order 600 of these. I don't know where we're going to put 600 wheel covers, but that's part of basically the batch. When you do this, you have to order specific material because we've gone for a higher quality acrylic, so it gives a much smoother, like clean finish. You know when something's so good, you just want to put it on everything, like the roof light bar, we just want to put that on everything. Yeah, Lewis's I mean, uh, let's, put, let's put spare wheels on the back of Cullinan's. I don't even have a response for that. Okay. I can't even think of anything funny to say back to that response because it was so unfunny. What you'll probably do then is wait for the camera to be shut off and then tell me off that it's stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yes, this is going to be available. I think stock is coming through the second week in December. So if you have an existing urban wheel cover, which is just the, the, like the vinyl print on there, you can get in touch and we can do you an upgrade price, um, which is slightly reduced for existing customers. So get in touch if you like the new wheel cover. Nice Christmas present for someone with a Defender. Yes. Christmas present wheel cover. I would have put it in the Black Friday sale, but we don't do sales. We don't do sales. We're like Gucci, we don't do sales. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can you, have that. Just it Thank you. This is one of one. Of one. Perfect. It's one of one, yeah. Well, coming in December, uh, 600 pieces. So if you have 600 defenders, then get in touch because we've got 600 covers. Is that that's about it for this week? That's hasn't it. it? Yeah, yeah, we've had a week off. We're doing the urban um, story coming up next week. Yeah, so for this week, that's it. Let me do the professional bit then. Go on. That you always forget. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Yeah, because we're on 39,300 and something or other. We so only need 700 to. Hit 40,000 before Christmas. Tell so your friends, please, tell your family, tell your press, side press, piece. Press, wherever it is, Anyone, press, just press, 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 press. Subscribe.